Alex, we're here in Vieques, Puerto Rico, at a conference on the physics of information. Uh, you're a cosmologist, you work on multiple universes. Does the physics of information have an impact on your work? Um, uh, yes, in information, actually, uh, this concept of information arises in connection with some of the deepest questions that uh, physicists are facing now in gravity and uh, also in cosmology. Um, and uh, it, uh, probably the most focus, uh, uh, most of this research is now focused on black holes. And uh, uh, there, you know, uh, information, of course, in physics, we uh, think of information a little differently from what we kind of in everyday life. So if I have a book and I burn it, Apparently, the information that in the, in the book has disappeared. But in principle, if you collect all the particles and light emitted by, when you burned all this book, you'll be, you should be able, in principle, reconstruct what was there. But now, if you have a black hole, and I threw this book into a black hole, um, black holes, as uh, Hawking uh, proved, evaporate. So in the end, this black hole evaporates by emitting particles and uh, so there will be no book and there will be no black hole. And the question is, can we now reconstruct what was in that book that I threw in the black hole? Uh, and uh, if uh, the laws of quantum mechanics are correct, then the answer should be yes. Because quantum mechanics tells us that information cannot, in principle, be lost. But we have no idea how this happens. Um, because the production of particles by black hole is a quantum process, and apparently it happens, um, this radiation, the particles come out, coming out of black hole, apparently are just thermal particles carrying no information. At least this is the way uh, that the original Hawking's calculation suggests. And how to reconcile these two things, the fundamental law of quantum mechanics and this principle of black hole evaporation is not clear. Uh, and this is property not only of black holes, but of all horizons. A black hole this, has this horizon such that if you jump in, there is no return. And there are also cosmological horizons uh, beyond which we cannot see. And they may also have this property. So how would it work on, on the cosmological side uh, if you have a, a horizon in a cosmological sense? What, what are the implications for information about that? Uh, well, this is... Uh, uh, even a deeper mystery. I mean, it depends on how we understand uh, what comes out in the end uh, from the understanding of black holes. But you can ask the same thing, like uh, uh, this observation of the dark energy tells us that the universe expands with acceleration. So stuff is going out of our horizon. And the question is, uh, do we lose information about this? So for example, when some uh, other galaxies, distant galaxies, go away out of our horizon. Uh, are we losing this information or somehow it's being reflected uh, to us because the all horizons, like black hole horizon, black holes evaporates and the cosmological horizon also emits particles towards us. So mm -hmm. does, do those particles carry information about what went across the well, horizon? In the cosmological uh, 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 sense, uh, the galaxies that are going beyond the horizon st are still there. Uh, we're, that's a difference, isn't it? Well, the, uh, they are still there. If you ask me, they are still there. Uh, but uh, if we can no longer see them, oh, it, uh, it. it's... Um, so, some people uh, think that uh, in certain sense, um, what came across the horizon, if you are, uh, just like with black hole, if you jumped together with yeah, the book, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can read the book. Yeah. Uh, if you're outside, you, you kind of lo lost, uh, lost that book, and, uh, but the information came to you with uh, radiation from the black hole. But there is uh, another principle of quantum mechanics which, has, which says that there is no quantum Xeroxing. So you cannot have the same quantum yeah, yeah. state duplicated. And some people are uh, conjecturing that, in fact, uh, the stuff that is inside uh, of black hole and the stuff uh, uh, that is outside, you cannot uh, kind of think, uh, consider them simultaneously. 
And you're using that same analogy to, to the, the boundary of the, the visible universe? I, I, have, I am deeply suspicious about this principle, <laughs> but uh, if you continue these ideas, you would say also that the information outside of our horizon kind of duplicates the information uh, inside. So uh, I, I would say that these ideas are now in the state of flux, and uh, I would hope for a more mundane explanation okay. than, uh, than this complementarity, so, so to say, that uh, Osaskin suggested. These ideas about uh, information in the physics of black holes and in the uh, physics of cosmological horizon, it's, um, it's tied to uh, quantum gravity. And um, most likely, uh, complete understanding will come with uh, further developments in quantum gravity.